My people have a day. Salute and according to the time, or depending on when I turn they listen to us now. I welcome you to this Obongalistic day with another Obonga information, my people. And I welcome you. Oh, hmm. Barrister Josephine Edoche, will be you, the Edoche Mama. You don't de cry. You don't de complain again, again, or oh. say this thing where they happened to your family was not what they bargained for. So this is a very lovely family, a family that so many people would like to emulate. So many people were so happy with the family. Even in any ramification, the family was okay spiritually, physically, financially. That God blessed them so well that she and her husband are so proud to have retired honorably from the service, from the public service, and now enjoying their old age with their children, with their pickings and grand picking them. So, but what is happening to their family recently in some few uh, days or few years now is something that everybody does not, everybody cannot accept. According to waiting somebody suggesting the Duce they talk, you say the family was okay, everything was okay in the entire Edoche family and in the household of all the Pekindem. All the five boys and the one daughter, all of them were doing very well to the glory of God and she has been so proud of everything. Until two years ago or three years ago, a strange woman entered the house. A strange woman entered the family of Edoche through one of the sons and since that time, Everything has changed. But it's just when Edoche is, they don't recall how the family used to be, especially during their get together like this. It used to be a festival of Edoche's. All the five boys came back with their wives and picked them, and everybody stays one place, especially the wife of the last born was the one that's in charge of all the picking them that came from different areas in Nigeria, both from Portacot, from Lagos, from Enugu, from you know, not from Abuja, even those abroad comes back to make sure say that get together is a reality and it's a success. And it used to be a memorable thing for the Duchess and it used to be a, a remarkable event. But that this year on, hmm, now wow, say so this year on has really shown him that shown her that something is wrong at the Duchy family. Something seriously is wrong and they need to do something about it. Say so, she cannot understand why one woman can make this kind of impact, this kind of negative impact in a duchess family. And what she never understands it today, be waiting move in last son will be you, Le Duce, to go and have a connection with this kind of woman. Say so if they tell them for this world, say so this kind of woman will find a way into a duchess family, say so she no go feel belief. Say Judy Austin has no place in a Duchess family. A Duchess family is not her mark, match, it's not her level, it's not everything. Because if you come to think of it, all the daughters and laws married in a Duchess family, all of them are CEOs, all of them are educated CEOs, entrepreneurial people. They no none of them is a housewife. None of them is sit on the look. All of them are hardworking hustlers doing one or two things to assist their husband to bring food on the table that they what they, 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 they all the daughters in laws of a duchess are known for one thing that they don't beg money from their their, their husbands they don't wait for their husband to provide they don't beg money for their husband. they make money they even they be the one to dash their husband money and to borrow their husband money when they don't have money but that the personality of Judy Austin can never be imagined in a duchess family before before but how you the Duce entered into the trap of this woman is what nobody knows how to explain. And the lady now came, not just she came to, you know, to destroy or to change the narrative or to change everything. She just came to finish everybody. She came to cause wahala. She came to cause issues. Since ever she came into a Duce family, no peace. No peace. Brother and brother, sister and sis sister and brother, brother and uh, child and parents, everything has changed. According to Barista Joshua Nedoche, he said, see, my picking them used to be, it used to be uh, something everybody's longing for to come to the village so that all of us will stay together. Even no matter their age, I still play with my picking them. All of them, I have the way I play with them. 
I play with them using different different nicknames so I don't give to some of them. Call them by their name, you know. Come together. We play, enjoy ourselves. I give them what I know is their favorite. I always keep each person's favorite for them. And when they come, I have to hand it over to my picking them. You understand? To ask their, uh, their wives to take care of them. My room also is the room for every grandchild. Every grandchild. They gather, tell me stories, call me, tell me proverbs, stories. Most of the things they've learned, they've learned about Igbos, they confirm from me. Some of them tell me stories of their cartoons, stories of their school, stories of their friends, stories, stories. I my ear, I don't even sleep in the night. They stay with me till late night, and it was a joy, a joy, a very enjoyable reunion every year. And I look up to that, and we look up to that. But the, what happens this year made me to understand that this strange woman is very powerful. He has really destroyed so many things in my family. So many legacies in my family. They started by robbing Potopoto Potter on, the, on the legacy and the integrity of the Edochi, especially of the pet Edochi's integrity. That was what he started wiping out, like say there is a mission, she's on a mission to destroy us. And she finished, she's now trying to sow discord in my family that a lot of people, a lot of my picking them are not coming together. They are not even enjoying themselves as they used to do. It used to be something that everybody calls each other and they gather and play and everybody's happy. But this time around, the thing well, is not like that. I just, we just finished the get together. And what I saw make me cry. My own household, where everybody gathers in peace, where everybody plays together where we tell old stories and laugh, nobody was around. Those who came around, they were just in their own rooms, in their own houses. Ah, uh -uh, just within a twinkle of an eye, a lot of things have changed. I can see a situation where links are not even coming out again to relate with anybody because almost everybody is looking at links as a very bad person who is supporting another person instead of his brother. And I've come to realize that Lynx is not doing anything wrong. Lynx is just living out his real life. He's a very straightforward person, very assertive, and he does not like he, he does not like oppression. He doesn't like a situation where he'll be oppressing people and he'll be keeping quiet. No. He speaks out. He's outspoken. His communication skill is second to none. He can speak anytime, anywhere, any day. At any position, at any condition, so that is why they are misunderstanding him. But right now, <clears throat> all in brothers, everybody was like, "Links, uh, you are only supporting the man. You are only supporting me." Like I keep telling them, it's not as if Links is supporting me. Even me, I should be on the side of me because me didn't offend anybody. There was no problem in my house. There was no problem in you, the Duchess house. Everybody should know. So if there was no problem in the house, how can you, the Duchess, stand up to marry the second wife without telling the wife? It's, it's, it's a de deception. It's an act of sabotage. It's an act of deception. And nobody accepts deception in marriage. If actually the day you are marrying her, you had at the back of your mind that you marry a second wife and you didn't tell her, the church does not permit that. If actually you have it in your mind at that time that after some years I will still marry another woman on top of you, that means you, the Duchy, should be sanctioned because that is deception. And nobody tolerates deception in marriage, not even the church, not even God tolerates deception because deception is very bad in marriage. And nobody knew that you, the Duchy, was going to go for the second wife. And all of a sudden, he came and married, not just marrying an ordinary woman, but married an evil spirit. Evil spirit in the sense that this woman does not understand anything other than conflict. The only thing she understands is conflict, fight. She just wants to fight everybody. She just wants to fight every time. She just wants to keep fighting and fighting and fighting as if this world or this everything is depends on fight. What I don't understand is what she gains from fighting everybody, from quarreling with everybody, from having issues with everybody, because that is just her life. Fight, 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 fight. And that is very bad. You see, but this is a family where nobody fights. I have five boys and one girl, and none of them fought any time as far as I'm around, but their papa is around. 
So, but what's happening there in my family is what I don't understand. And secondly, Barrister Josephine Edoche said, I was the first to reject that lady. I have rejected her and I don't think I would ever accept her. I told my husband the first day they introduced that lady to him that my spirit does not support this lady. I don't like her. I don't know what anybody says, but I don't like her. My, 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 my husband was like, uh, let's see what happened now. Since you, the Duchess, say was, are we to, the one to marry? Now him, they marry now. So, but I told him that it's in, even though I'm not the one marrying this lady, I don't think this lady deserves to be part of this family so that we will not be suffering another thing. We will not start having issues with one another. We will not start having issues with people. You know, this lady looks like someone who is so ambitious and anyone who is ambitious can buy anybody to take his place. Let it not be that tomorrow now we start discussing how, what, what, what happened to me, what happened to you, what happened to this person, what happened to this other person. Say, I, am, I don't have the strength to start talking about those things. It is better we tell you, Ledochi, to package this lady and send the lady back where he brings the lady. And Sapete Ledochi said, but the lady is already pregnant, already with a baby. She's already with the baby. Are we packaging her with the baby? At least for the sake of that baby, he's supposed to stay with the husband to take care of them, at least help her to make sure, say, the, he, she was able to nurture this baby, win the baby, before we can talk about any other thing. But Mr. Jeffrey said, if you leave me, if you ask me, I will say we should package her with the baby back to her mother's house because I know that baby is a trap. And after that baby, so many other things will come up. And this woman that used baby to trap a married woman means that he's not a very good person. And that person is not someone you accept in your home. A woman who knows that this man is married and he used belly, used pregnancy to trap the man, there is nothing she cannot do. I saw her from the first day and I knew that she's not a very genuine person. I knew she's a very bad person. And that's why I have been very careful, according to waiting by Mr. Joseph Nedochi de Toko, I have been very careful in handling her so that she will not be a very serious issue to everybody in this family. My people not be smart, you know. Uh, so Mr. Joseph Nedochi, they complained about Judy Austin. So since Judy Austin came to the family, that is how everything changed. That's how peace run away. That's how progress run away. That's how prosperity run away. Say, look at you, Ledoche. Since after, since these two years he has married this lady, he has never made anything. He has never made any extra money. So, 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 endorsement failure, endorsement failure, endorsement failure. So, 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 you know, you know, problem, problem, problem. Going to court, going to court, going to court. Now, another one, another shameful one has come again. And this one shouldn't have been a problem to you, Ledoche. If not that he carries everything concerning Judy Austin on his head, and that's what I don't understand. Look at this man that came up and was saying that Judy Austin is still in custody with his two picking them, the boy and the girl, 16 years and 14 years. That issue wouldn't have been an issue to you, Ledoche. If not that you, Ledoche, carried himself into Judy Austin. Now, the man has gone to court against Judy Austin. Who pays you, Ledoche? That is the challenge. Look at how it's as if this lady that came in is behaves like a devourer. Since she came in, just how money they go out, whoom, 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 whoom. The next thing is that they will still come back to you and beg you money because they are your last son and you will still accept. They will still come back to you. And you will still release because they know you will do because he's your last son. So, 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 spend, 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 spend since the lady come. And I don't know whether you are not noticing it. I think this time around, when they come again, you will tell them to go and look for money because they are of age, they are young, and they are mates, and then they make money. Go and tell them, make them go look for money because I don't understand whether they even use charm or you. Everything they say you do. Look at, since this lady came, you, Leduce, cannot even boast of solving problems. When, when he was with me, every problem is solved. They even borrow money to their, uh, to their siblings. They even help other people solve their problem. But since Judy Austin came, instead of you, Ledochi, to assist people solve their problem, people are now assisting him to solve his problem. Is he not a backwardness? Is he not a setback? What is actually wrong with you, Ledochi? What is wrong with him and this new, babe, new woman that he carried and keep in the house? I am still beginning to think that since this woman came, even the health of this family is not strong again. 
there is a negative energy from this lady. Because if anything happens, a small issue comes up, she will call everybody, she will curse everybody, she will curse Wahala everywhere, she will just create a problem. And at the end of the day, you, the Duce, will still absorb, will still be the one to apologize, will still be the one to clean up everywhere, will still be the one to settle everything. And the lady lives as if she's a god in this family. <coughs> everybody has told her not to be a part of this family again. She should go and find her way. But she doesn't say to anybody. You know, sometimes I sit down and I ask myself, what is wrong with us? Or what is wrong with this lady? But it's just with that, I ask to Jecho. He says, remember, I have asked you several, several. What relationship do you have with this lady and your son? Because all of you guys know yourselves at the movie set, at the movie location. And it is from the movie location that this bad luck came and you knew her there. And I've asked you, any relationship, what is this that this lady acts in your presence without respect, without remorse, without anything? What is it that she had, he, had, he has seen you do? What secret do you have with this lady? Because the way I look at it, there is something this lady is holding against you. You act like someone under blackmail. Because you don't come out openly to condemn this lady. Like say... There is a problem or there is something that the lady knows about you that nobody knows. Even if, I've told you several, I'm a lawyer. Even if there is something, just it shouldn't, be, it shouldn't remain in bondage forever. Because one day, that thing where it keeps you in bondage, people will still hear it. Is it not better people hear it now and we settle the case? And I, I promise I have told you I will stand by you no matter whatever it is. Find a way. Let's send this, this lady away from a duchess family. What kind of thing is this? At least let's see whether we can breathe in a fresh air. My people know be smart, you know. Barrister Josephine is encouraging the husband to be separated, do you? So that the family can take a very drastic action against Judy Austin to go because everybody knows that Judy Austin is not a good thing to them. It's not a good thing to the Duchy. It's not a good thing to anybody. Anybody that knows what it means to be good knows that Judy Austin is not a good thing that can happen to anybody. And several, several the people who lost out on Judy Austin are thanking God right now, praising God right now that they would have been the ones suffering what the Edoches are suffering. And who knows who it could have been. And that is why uh, 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 Barista Joseph the Edoche is telling you the uh, sapet that they should send this lady away. Send this lady away. Let her carry her bad luck and her hard luck go. Because everybody knows that anywhere Judy Austin goes, there must be. Look at when Judy Austin was, Mr. was with Mr. Bart. Mr. Basso was like bonga fish. Very dry. But right now, you see the picture of Mr. Basso and the, and the wife. Very fresh. Because a fresh woman has replaced the old one. And Mr. Basso is now looking fresh. Judy Austin drained her, him and drained him and drained him that the man has nothing again to show. But right now, the man has come back to life. That is the same thing happening to our son. Can you see the face of your son? Have you noticed that your son, who is the last one, is now older than a lot of him brother? Even older than, uh, older than uh, Leo, that is the first son. Looking so old and looking so haggard. And do you think that that is just ordinary? That look at you, Ledoche, is looking like that? No, something is wrong. Something is wrong. The, the, the guy is in high class of depression but he doesn't want to share it with anybody. And that's a very serious issue in his life. So this lady that has nothing offered except pain, except disaster, except conflict, except uh, uh, hard luck, why should we still keep her within us? Why don't we release her to go? Why don't we release her to go? So that, or give her automatic to go, so that we can find a way to, you know, rearrange our family yes everybody knows that mary is not coming back to this family again i'm not even expecting mary back because mary passed through a lot and when i discussed with mary last mary made me understand that she would have loved to come back but she cannot come back because of so many things had gone wrong so many so many things had gone wrong because a lot of things are so bad that you can't even repair it because for the moment you see uh, the moment that Mary comes to the family and see the face of you, the Duchy, it will remind him of so many things that have gone bad. And that's why she cannot stay because tearing at Mule will remind her of so many painful moments of her life. 
I I quite understand with her. I quite appreciate what she's feeling. But I think that it is still okay that we keep talking to Barry, not to return to you, Edoche, but to forgive the Edoches because all of us have done wrong. We need forgiveness from that girl, whether you people like it or not. And if I waited for you guys and nobody goes, I have to go on my own on my knees and beg Mary for forgiveness. It's not a thing of uh, uh, pride. It's not a thing to, 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 to talk about pride. No, it is something that will help us grow better tomorrow. Because Mary was really abused in this house. Mary was really uh, uh, attacked. Mary was in pain in this house. And none of us had a serious meeting with her to console her. Even as the thing is running around on the social media, many of evidences are coming up. Nobody from a Duchess family had ever called Mary and said, sorry, we heard what happened. I think it is time we come up and do something and tell Mary that we still love you even when you say you are not staying again. We still love you so much and we wish you well in life because Mary deserves the best from the Duchess because Mary has contributed a lot to the development and to the progress of the Duchess family. So Mary is the person. Mary is the key. So as long as we have uh, our life still existing, we are not by yet, we should reconcile. We should have a way of reconciling with me. My people not be smart, you know, and I saw so, uh, Barrister Joseph Edoche, if they tell in husband, we be support the Edoche, say they not go feel leave the case of Mary and you, the Edoche, like that. But they have to reconcile with Mary, even if at the end of the day, Mary succeeded in divorcing you, the Edoche, no problem. But at least let it be that there was nothing that would be said against the Edoche when Mary case comes on board. My people don't be smart, you know. No be smart, you know. Uh, but it's just when Edoche is very angry with the situation and the happenings in Edoche's family. He said things are no longer at ease. Things are no longer the way it used to be. Just because just one single woman, a strange woman, entered that family and the woman has scatalized everything. She has scatalized the life. She has like, scatalized the moments of joy. She has scatalized the place and everything just because of her greediness and because of her insatiable life. So, Barrister Joseph Edoche is pleading with all and sundry in Edoche family to put all hands on deck and make sure, say, Judy Austin and the parents were not near the Edoche family again. And she went further to authenticate this, so according to what they let us know. They say, Barrister Joseph Edoche called Judy Austin mama and papa on phone. And to tell you, called Judy Austin mama, and Mama Piki now called the Papa. The Papa Piki connect everybody together on, on group chat. And warned them sternly to come and carry their Piki. Will be uh, Judy Austin. And also carry everything that concerns Judy Austin that is in their custody. Because they are not happy. That they should please come and take Judy Austin. And the mother now said, no, wait now. Nah, oh God, it's not like, say, who be your ogre? Oh it's not like that. We are going to resettle. He said, there is nothing there to settle. Come and take your daughter away and let me have peace in my family. I don't want you to hear that there is this thing that happened to your daughter or not. Come and take your daughter away from us because your daughter has caused more harm. We didn't come when she was married because we didn't want to marry a second wife because we didn't want her to be part of our family. Now she struggled and pushed herself in. We, had, we also want her to remain on her land and she refused. Now, I, I beg you, come and carry her because I don't want us to have any issue about that. Uh, you, you, uh, you, uh, Judy Austin's mother was pleading with uh, Barrister Josephine, but I just, you know, because the thing is becoming so annoying. Because they are telling you to come and carry your daughter, and what you're saying is, uh, let's, let's walk, it. walk out well. The person that your daughter is marrying is married. The person that your daughter is married is married, and you knew that the man was married. And you still carry your daughter. Give to a married man. That is wickedness. That is serious and pure wickedness. You knew what you are doing. It was not done by mistake. You knew what you were doing. To take your daughter to a married man. To continue marrying. That is pure wickedness. So, And that is what Marissa Joseph Neduche is saying. That such a wickedness has left her family and her marriage in a very big shambo. And that is very bad. So Marissa Joseph Neduche is pleading with uh, all the entire Educhis, that everybody should calm down 
and pray to God because there is nothing that spoils that God cannot amend. That even this dear name that you also has destroyed, that God can still come back with his infinite mercy and continue to bless the family. And you also, um, but Sir Joseph Ledoche told them that he, she has already put or placed the name of the entire Edoches at the, at the feet of Jesus in the tabernacle so that Jesus will keep, you know, blessing this family, protecting this family and, you know, saving the family from the hand of Judy Austin and in the hand of all his, her agents and all the spirit that she serves so that the family of Edoches will not experience any bad thing. No bad woman will come to them. No bad issue will come to them, but rather peace, peace, peace will be the only thing that the entire Edoches will experience because that's what they enjoy, that whenever they come like this, there will be peace everywhere and everybody will know that this is the Edoches and it's a very prestigious one. My people, now so they just reach our table, I say, make I toss lighter with you This is Niger Celebrity Gist TV, where we toss light with a better gist. At the gist on food, I will still bring on. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please try to subscribe. All our returning subscribers who say, well, now well done, now welcome. Make you have a nice day. Bye.